everyone. Welcome to this month's updated uh, tax tips. Uh, as you can see from the image, we are reporting on the massive U-turn that the government's done uh, and basically the scrapping of the vast majority of the changes that we uh, talked to you about recently. Uh, we sent out the budget update by itself. I guess that was a bit premature of us. Um, we're going to go through now the tax changes that have survived and those that have been scrapped. Uh, jumping straight in. Corporation tax, you'll recognize these slides if you saw our last video. Uh, all I've done is simply update the slides to show what's stayed and what's gone. So we last uh, presented on this, we said that corporation tax was gonna stay at 19%, it was gonna be a flat rate, and that there will be no tax rises coming. Well, that's changed. We're going back to the position we were in before. Uh, corporation tax will now rise from the 1st of April, 2023. I think the most of you have had a pre-area meeting, we've talked about this. Um, it'll apply to companies with profits above £250,000, absolutely. Anybody with profits less than £50,000, you'll stay at 19% and there'll be a hybrid rate in between. Um, one change that has stayed in place is that the annual investment allowance, uh, with that limit, will stay at a million pounds from 1st of April 2023. So that's a welcome uh change that will remain in place. Um, usually the annual investment allowance is the first thing that the government changes. So ironically, they've actually left that alone. Um, <clears throat> we don't have any further updates on the super allowances at the moment. Uh, so we still assume that super allowances uh, that allow you to get 130% tax relief on the cost of brand new assets bought, um, we presume that that will end in April 2023. <clears throat> Moving on to national insurance, <clears throat> so we, we talked about the fact that the 1.25% increase to national insurance would be reversed from the 6th of November. Well, that is staying in place, uh, primarily because I think that the legislation was already going through Parliament and it was actually too late to stop it. Uh, so that change will still take effect from the 6th of November. So both employees and employers will pay the old rates of, of, of national insurance. Uh, from the 6th of November, that 1.25% increase is still being scrapped. Um, and we're still left with the hybrid uh, Class 1A national insurance rate of 14.53% for PL&D benefits when we come to do the PL&Ds at the end of the tax year on 5th of April 2023. Um, now, the big change <coughs> that was scrapped is an income tax. So whilst... Um, the 1.25% increase to national insurance has been scrapped. Uh, all small business owners will be devastated to learn that the uh, associated increase to dividend taxes will remain. And so now the current tax rates that apply to dividends of 8.75% for the basic rates and 33.75% for higher rates will remain in place uh, going forwards. They're, they're in place now and they won't change. In addition to that, the uh, proposed decrease in the basic rate of income tax for earners uh, through pay as you earn or for landlords where you pay 20% of tax at basic rates, it was proposed that, that will go down to 19%. That change has also been scrapped. Everybody's gonna continue paying income tax at 20% in that threshold. Um, and so actually when we thought we were going to move to a position where this income tax year uh, was going to be a bit of an outlier in terms of higher rates of tax with, with lower rates of tax applying next year. That's no longer the case. <clears throat> the higher rates of tax, of income tax that apply now will continue to apply uh, until another chancellor changes their mind. Hopefully that's not next week. Um, the stamp duty changes are all going to stay in place. Um, so the threshold at which we start to play uh, stamp duty on the purchase of our first residential property uh, has moved from 125 to 250,000 pounds. That stays in place. Uh, and as do the changes to the Seed Enterprise Investment Scheme, which lifted the uh, amounts that an investor can uh, place into a company and qualify for tax relief. That limit of 200,000 pounds, that increase is still in place. Uh, and the amount that a company can raise through the Seed Enterprise Investment Scheme, that limit increased to 350,000 pounds also stays in place. So there is a small modicum of comfort for, for small businesses looking to raise investment. Those uh, encouragements for growth uh, are still there. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, the IR35 changes, which were going to be the repeal of the legislation brought in in 2017 and 2021, which meant that um, the public sector and private sector companies respectively 
became responsible for determining whether subcontractors uh, fell within IR35 or not. We were going to repeal that, now we're not. That means that um, it, the responsibility will stay with those end uh, users. Um, so the chaos that that's caused for many subcontractors who found it difficult to um, get work with organizations who take blanket approaches to IR35, unfortunately, it looks like that's going to continue. IR35 itself uh, and the assessment of whether a subcontractor falls to be actually deemed as an employee or not, none of the legislation for that has actually changed. And so all those rules remain the same. It's just who's responsible for assessing it. And that's going to remain as it is now. It's going to remain with the end user. Um, quick tax tip this month. Um, well, very difficult. We originally said um, that you should look to uh, defer income to next year because the income tax rates were going to go down. All I can say at the moment is that we still haven't actually had an official budget that is due still next month in November. We're just having announcements. Apparently, Jeremy Hunter said there is more to come. Um, and so at the moment, we find ourselves in the very concerning places. We don't actually really know what's happening. There's not a lot of certainty around. It's very difficult for us to plan as to what to do. Um, there may well be more changes to come. I think the best thing we can say at the moment is let's wait for the official budget and let's hope that we actually get some certainty soon.